Hello, Friendly Man here once again. And I was showing this game. This was a, a tournament game that I played. Uh, now it's been like a couple years ago. No, it would have been last year. It's been last year. And I had a little problem with the microphone. Now my microphone's fixed, so I can redo the game. So this is part two. So if you didn't see part one, uh, go back to the first video. It will be in the bottom bar below if you want to check out the first video on how we got to this position. So this is the, the interesting position. This is the position I want to continue on from. And the weird thing is, in the first part, I, uh, I did the whole video, like, from beginning to end. And so, and then when I'm, like, editing it, I'm like, oh, the mic is going, going, and, and it just, I, at the point where I stopped it, it was like, you couldn't even hear anything anymore. So, and I do want to talk to you, my back to the thing, or, or, see, I'm, I'm trying to go to the side, so you could see the board, okay, and you could see where I'm pointing and stuff like that, that's my idea. And so you can, it's a lot more visual, better. Uh, the reason why, you know, if you were an old person who used to come to these videos a long time ago, I used to have this nice wooden oak set that I would play. I still have the wooden set. I, I have that. The problem is when you're looking at, a, at an angle, you don't see all the pieces right and it's hard to see and then, then you have to have like a demo board on the side that I, I was having a little bit of trouble editing together. That's why I don't do that anymore. With this, it's, it's a lot more easier for me just to move the pieces. The only problems I have, some of these pieces, are, it's hard to put in. So that's why I, I went with the demo board. It, it's just, it's more easier for me to, you know, to make these videos. Okay, so now, like, uh, like the, the heading says, the King's Indian. We're already past the King's Indian portion of it right now. So, uh, in the King's Indian, there are a lot of attacking chances for White. Um, right now, White is uh, is continuing his attack, and I'm on my defensive thing. So I'm walling up, okay, and that's the key to this. I have to wall up, but I also have to wait for openings and for my chance to come out and attack. And this happens to be the the time. I missed it. Um, I have a friend that's a master. We were looking at this game together, and um, I'm sorry, I just heard some feedback. I was like, is that because of the audio setup? Uh, I don't think it is. That's why I was looking around. I'm sorry about that. It sounds like it looked like I was distracted, but I'm not. I, I was. I don't want to have any more technical difficulties on this video. <laughs> Okay, so like I had this master, and we he went over, and immediately he f he found this move. Okay, so this is a side variation that I want to show you here. Okay, so now I have to uh, find an opening because if I close it up too much, it'll turn into a draw. Okay, and I am the higher rated player here. And so because I'm the higher rated player, see, a lower rated player, he can play for a draw and he can hold himself back because it's not up to him to win. Why I'm the higher rated player, I have to prove that w that's the reason why I'm a higher rated player. And that's why I have to find these openings and I have to know why. Yeah, I could draw this, no problem, you know. Like he was a 1500. Mm, drawing him would have been easy. All I have to do is lock this up, draw, and then, but no, I, I'm looking for the win. I'm not trying to play for a draw, but I'm trying a strategy that I'm not really comfortable with. I'm not a wall-up defensive kind of player. I'm an attacking, aggressive, tactical kind of player, so I have to find the tactics. And so that's what I, I did here. I had to find a tactic. Now, okay, so, and this is my uh, this was my my chance but I did find another chance a little bit later on so now I open it up this is this is a side move this is not what he played this is this is not what I played I'm black 
I didn't play this. This is what my ma this is what my master friend found. He found this in ten seconds, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> you know, I should have I should have seen this. Okay. Now it, this this portion is on the what's it called? Um, on my other video but it's, it's not as good. I just want to replay it for you guys because this is a good opportunity to show okay. Bishop takes knight here rook takes f Five. No. What am I doing? I just jumped right over. That's <laughs> jumped over right of the night. <laughs> this is like a Chinese chess, eh? There's the river, and and there's certain the rooks can jump over the river. <laughs> Has to jump over one piece. No, <laughs> chess is not like that. I am so sorry. I <laughs> I just moved that piece there. <laughs> okay. Uh, rook takes. Okay. Rook takes. Okay. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Queen takes. And Queen F three. So he's scared. He played that uh, to protect his bishop. Uh, so, because he was he's pushing the attack so much, his king is so you know loose, and all his pieces are kind of you know unorganized. Mine are all connected, his are not. So it's I'm in a lot more better position. So this is the reason why this is my chance. Okay. So these these are all the best moves. Okay, okay let's just go back a little bit. Here. Okay, Queen Bishop Rook. Rook, the knight, pawn takes, queen is here, and, okay, I just took there. No, he doesn't have to take the bishop here, okay? but that is the best. What he has to worry about, if he doesn't take, I have like a move like this to attack the queen. So if he takes with the pawn, okay, that would be a mistake because I have this with check. A check. Okay? and then lets the games begin. So he has to worry about stuff like that. That's why you can't take there. Okay. So after he does take here, okay, it protects the rooks, and then when I come in here, okay, and let's say he just moves his queen away or something like that. Okay. He goes here or something. Okay. Now he has to be get worried about this discovery. Now I have discoveries everywhere. Okay. Like I can take here, I guess. I don't even know if that works. I didn't look into this. So if queen takes, check, rook takes. Can I take that? No, I can't take that. That doesn't work. I have this check, but the queen just takes back. Yeah. 
And I could probably move my queen away to scare away the bishop, and then come here. And then that should work. Or something like that. So there was lots of ideas here, a lot of possibilities. Okay, let's let's continue on with the game. Um, so, so what I played was a very bad move. Okay. It's kind of a blunder. It doesn't really do anything. Okay. Like I said, this was the better move, but this move doesn't really do anything. I was worried that he was going to attack my rook, and then I would have to move it and deep, you know, and displace it and stuff like that. So I was like, oh. So I. Okay. This is called a ghost, by the way. A ghost is when you see a threat in the position that does not really exist. And that happens to the best players. Okay, queen f3 protects the bishop. Queen d7 yeah, to attack this guy. Queen uh, bishop eight protects him. King h8. I'm worried about discoveries because if I have to move my bishop. King, bishop, d2, oh. bishop, yeah, bishop, d2, that's kind of an odd move, I didn't remember he played that, I guess he did, okay, now, okay, finally, I said, I, now I gotta open this file up, if I don't open this up, I'm in a drawn game, and that's not good for me. So this is why I played this move. Take. Yep. But now the pieces have changed. You know, I'm not going to win a rook here and stuff like that, and I'm not putting a lot more threats. I had a knight in a better spot. So it's not is as good as it was, you know, as it now. So... Don't get me wrong, it's not as bad, you know, but it's it's but I, I I do have to break this open. I have to have get an open file in this position to win. Where am I? Okay. Bishop takes f four. Wait a minute. Oh, he didn't. He doesn't go here. He go. He went here. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's let's get that back. Eh? My dyslexia. I switched the the D's and the B's. I guess. Okay, so he, he was here. He went here. See, this is a lot better position now. The rook is protected by the bishop. This is protected. So this break isn't as good. You know. Now when I took here. Now when he takes back here, you know, he's more all lined up, he's putting pressure on my knight, There's, it's just better for him, you know, where I had a better chance of, with discoveries, you know what I mean, more threats, and that's something that you got to keep in mind when you're playing chess. There, are, You have to play it when there's a lot more threats, because your opponent has to work out those threats inside his mind, and if he's not working him out, it gets him more tired, he might miss stuff. He might, you know, see more stuff, and that starts slowing him down. And this is like a seven-hour marathon, you know. After the end, you know, all those extra calculations that he had to put into it starts to kind of wear on him, and that's when he starts really starts slipping up. Uh, he kind of did that at the end. I'll, I'll get more into it when I get there, but see... But if I played this break sooner, he, there was more stuff you had to calculate. In this situation, less stuff, you know, less taxing on his mind. So things to think about when you're playing. That's why you've got to play the best moves at the best time, because it does wear out your opponent faster. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, Bishop. I thought he was going to take, and I was going to take with the hmm. queen d6. Now I'm protecting the bishop and putting a battery. Now he takes here. Okay, I took with the queen. In my original head, I thought I could take with the rook, but I can't. So, okay. I saw this couple moves ahead of time, thinking, oh, I'll take with the rook and I have some ideas. But he has some ideas of his own, and I missed it. So taking with the queen is better. Okay? I thought, oh, I'll take with the rook, then I'll have a chance to double up and put more pressure on this. It's okay? a pretty good idea. But, okay? but he has stuff like this that I have to worry about. Okay, the queen's on there. Okay, and there's a check, and you know he'll open me up a little bit on the king side, and I want to be get safe. So, what I have here in my notes, okay, rook takes. He moves here right away. He doesn't have to play this immediately. Okay. Then I get my knight back into the game. Yeah. Now he can play like okay, moves like this. He can't take because of the queen. Okay, if we trade off rooks, it will look like that. Okay. And if I, and then, now do I see ghost in the position here? Um, wait, there's a, take stuff like that. Okay. There's a way where he, take, he could just draw my queen off first. Uh, no. uh, okay, he okay, goes like something like that. Yeah, that's right. Take, take. You have to take, take back. Looks like this. And then does he have a chance to move his knight away? Yeah. Then this. And then I might lose this pawn. Yeah. But he's able to get in, you know. He's starting to come towards me, you know what I mean? He's starting to put pressure on me. And that's where it gets, you know, that's why I couldn't take with the rook because it just opens it up, and I don't have enough, you know, files on this. There's also like other stuff too, like um, okay, I don't have to. Uh, yeah. So after he moves here, I don't have to move my knight. I can move my rook over, okay, to protect that. Yeah. Now, you can probably play here. And then if he plays here, now this will open this up. Boom. You know, now, like, if I take with the queen or if he takes with the knight, I can take the rook. You know, a lot of fun ideas here. So it's, and remember I was saying it's taxing? It's better not to tax your mind either. Don't go into something that's a little bit, unclear. Now, it is good to go on unclear if you're not too sure if it's going to win or not, too. It, it's always these fine balances. So, that's why I didn't play the rook capture here. I played queen capture on this, this knight's here. Queen capture. Hey, okay. so I'm not worrying about this. I could capture with the queen. It's okay with me. Okay. I can't do stuff like this because this makes pawn weaknesses and he can push push his pawns. So I had a lot of, you know, 
you got to kind of be a little bit on the safe side. Now, I have this battering ram, so I, I, I'm not too worried about him moving his at this time. Okay. So he moved rook f1 here. Queen f8 to stop the pawn push. Put pressure on here. F2. He's thinking he'll push these pawns and he'll have this thing opening it up. Now I bring my knight out. Queen f4. Knight e5. Got my knight in the central thing. I can put my knight here. I can put him in check. Rook g2. I don't think he should have done that. I think he should have pushed the pawn, truthfully. But Okay. d5. This looks like an odd-looking move. All the action's happening here. But why am I trying to play on that side? Now, my advantage, so what happened in all this stuff is he moved all his pieces to one side of the board. And he's not playing on this side of the board. If all these pieces disappear, okay, and I have my ad pawns advanced farther than his pawns, I'll be able to queen faster. So now, now I'm going to try to play on the queen side. And that's in a typical Indian fashion. He plays on the king side, I play on the queen side. So now I waited until his attack is kind of getting uh, dissipated, disappeared. Now it's my turn to attack. You know, he came after me, now I'm coming after him. But I got to play quiet moves, silent moves moves that he's not expecting. And so, and I have a knight supporting that square, it, it's looking pretty good for me. Okay? He can't push this, this pawn because I can go here, okay? and then I can queen that guy. So it's, it's pretty good. Okay? G4, he's, he's trying to push the attack, but his attack's not going on. Now I say, okay, Let's just queen trade. Let's get the attack completely over. You have no more attack with me. For whatever reason, he actually takes. He shouldn't have taken, I, I believe, because now the queens are off the board for him. There is no checkmate here anymore. So, okay, good. He ran out of his attack. Now, now I'm going to beat him in the end game. Okay, f6, so he pushes here. He does have some tricks up his sleeve. If I push here, you know, he takes, I take, and then he can check me here, and then it, it turns into a pumpkin. That's not good. So, if he takes, I can take here, that's all right but I need to get my rook more active, I go here. Okay. It's about dealing with the threats correctly. Okay, I don't have to deal with it by taking, I can deal with it by another way. So he does take here. I'm not worried about a check. Checks are not like that scary for me. I took back. Okay. Five. So he wants to take this pawn. So I, I protect that pawn by going here. Okay. I have to keep my I think going together. Okay. 
bishop d5. He wants to make move my rook away. So I do, and I put protection on here. Now he's able to check me to push my king away, but now he took pressure off the pawn, so I am allowed to move my king to attack his rook. Okay. Now he goes rook all the way to a6 to back here. I don't think that was the best move he had. I think maybe here was better. But, you know, I know he's putting things on there, but it's just like he moved too far away. There, there's no action here for him. That's action for me. And he's, and usually if you're, if there's action for me, he's using this as a defensive idea, you know, to block something or, you know, to take something that doesn't happen in the attack. So, Okay, that's that's all right. That's fine. So now I just say okay. I just move f6. Boom. Now I got things protecting it. I got the rook there. King h2. I think this was a mistake for him on his part. I think he should be going more this way. Got trying to get more in the center of the board. Okay. Now c4. Boom my attack is starting to begin. Bishop e4. C takes d3. C takes d3. And then Rook on rook c8. Control the open file. H6. Now his idea is very s a good idea. If I take okay, here, he can take here would check. So if I okay. take ooh, sorry. Ah take. King is here. Rook takes check. Only move. Okay. And this is winning for, for him. Uh, I, he had a crushing move somewhere where there's checkmate somewhere. Is it here or something? Well, I can't remember where where it was, and I didn't put it on my notes. Kind of sad. I'm trying to calculate it out now, but I I can't find it. Okay. So that's why I can't take there. That's why he gave up the pawn like that. Okay? Because he gets his pawn back. Okay? Take here, and then he has a lot of ideas. King f7. Okay. I'm not too worried about his queening, because I do have a rook here. I will bring the rook back, you know, to take it. Hey, I also got a knight here. I can, I got options. It's not like I don't got options, you know. King g3. This is where he makes his mistake. This is where, let's say, the, um, the nail in the coffin right here. So I want you to pause this moment, pause this video, because there is a tactic here. There's some tactic here that's it's really big and I saw it and I and I played it. And this is what was able for me to win the game. So Okay. I gave you some time.
to look for it. Okay, and it's a very weird move, and uh, the move is right here. Knight takes this this pawn. Okay, so if he takes back here, I can check him here. Check because the pawn's here. He's forced to go here, and then I can take a here. And I'm not too worried about this check if he takes there, stuff like that, because I'll just go here, you know, and then I can bring my king up. So that's uh, the tactic. But that's not what he played. He saw the tactic. So he so he gave me a pawn. Now I have a pass pawn. And now he's in dangerous territories. So he plays this. Check. King G6. Okay. To attack the pawn. He comes back here with check. Did he go there? No, wait. Okay, he checked me here. I gotta look at these moves closely. I'm very sorry about that. Okay. D5, check. King G6, here, go. Bishop E6. Oh, he goes E6, here. Rook c3, here. Now I have a discovery. Well, it says I have a, another move here. I could have took here. Take, take, okay. Oh, and then I have a fork here. Look at that. So, I must have found this. Uh, found this later. So then I get my one of my pieces back. <laughs> so I could have taken here if I wanted to, but I had to. I would have to see this fork. I did not see that in the game, okay? and I saw that later because it's in my notes. It's just <laughs> I for totally forgot I even put them in my notes. So that was a possibility. Okay. That's not what I played, of course. Okay. So I played here for the discovery. And he forks me here, my my knight will be protected too, so it's it works all good idea. That's what he did. He did check me here. King F seven here. Bishop takes D three. I don't think he should have done that in his position. Rotex check. Okay, um, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. That was bad for him. What he should have played was the pawn here. That was his better move. And then I would play knight f4. It says knight f h7. H4. Did I take something? Oh, it's missing. Move here. Oh, um. Okay. Just looking at my diagram. Because, wait a minute. It says it's a check. 
I move my thing here and, and I'm checking somebody, uh, but I'm not. Oh, it's a discovery. Ah, I get it. Check with a discovery. Uh, King H2 here. You can't go here because of the pawn. Rook H three check here King G one then I have this check King H two only move King hit check King F1, and then I can take here. Okay. And then if he queens, I just take here. And that's good for me. Also, I could probably do this. And then you have the force to come back there, too. And then, then I can eat here. You know, just take him or something like that. Okay. So lots of moves here. I could have played here, I guess. And that's checkmate. So Yeah, so check. Here. So I'm worried about taking here, eh? Right? Well, did I work this line out? I hope I did. Take, take. Because so I would just, you know, maybe move the rook back, you know, protect that way. Okay, anyways. So I did have options. So I didn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. I know I worked out all that stuff out when I was in the game. It was just not, I wasn't working it out very much. Okay, let's, let's go back all the way to the beginning. Because h7 was the better move. But I did have some stuff up my sleeve as well. Okay, so he takes here. I take here with we'll check. Okay, where am I? Where am I? See, I forgot what move I'm on. I always put your finger there. Okay. And checking H two. King H2, rook on E to E3, rook takes A7, check, King G6, rook A6, Check here. Did I do anything else? No, I just took here. Stop the threat. I got my own threat. I'm in a pretty good boat right now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Rook H. Put pressure on that. Rook G3, check. King F1. King H7. So I, I have two pieces on there. 
And if there's two pieces, one, two, and I have two pieces, one, two, the aggressor always loses. Okay, uh, rook, rook A7, check. So it goes here, check. I go here. A6, check. It's just allowing me to move my king up here. I'm still high on that square. F5, check. King E4. Okay, now I took an aggressor off that square. Okay, so. Wait, did that happen? I must have missed something here. Okay, okay, A4. Yeah, A4. Because, why can't he take here? Oh, I take here, I guess. I take one rook, then I can take here. Oh, and I take with check, too. Oh, if he takes here, I take there. He takes that. I go here. Okay. So it's one rook versus one. rook versus rook. I got two pass pawns. Okay. And he has to worry about this. Okay. Threats idea. So he moves to attack the rook. I think that was a mistake. Because now I can take here right away. Now he realizes he can take, but it's too late for him now because I'm also attacking the rook. So the rook on f takes six. This rook takes. This rook takes. Okay, now I have a fork supported by my pawn. Okay. Oh! <laughs> and the thing goes. <laughs> That's a fail. Okay, there's if I can fix that. Uh, come on, get it. There we go. Nope. Ooh. It's on the wrong side, this guy. Come on, get out on the other side. There we go. There we go. Now. Okay, he takes there. There's the right way of taking it and the wrong way of taking it. If you've seen my quick time video chess, you would know the right way of taking it. And you can take it this way. That's the right way of taking it. Now, okay, these two pawns, they can protect each other and queen. Okay. So I can move my king away to defend this this thing. And if you look, this pawn makes the square all the way up to here. So this is the pawn square. Okay. This course, this guy is on the double jump, so his pawn square is here. And I'm still in the pawn square. So if he goes here, if he moves his pawns, Oh yeah, by the way, this is where he resigns. He resigned at this point. He realized, I'm going to queen. There's no thing. But I'll just uh, go through it a little bit. So if he goes here, okay, I'll take, he'll take. <clears throat> okay, and that one pawn is good enough for me. Okay. takes my move I go here with my king okay and if he runs with his pawn he moves his pawn I just run and try to capture him if he moves his king we say he goes here to attack the pawn I have this little neat idea to come down here if he takes if he takes here I can he doesn't have enough time to run in, 
to a queen. He can't go this way because my pawn is guarding this square. This pawn is guarding this square. It's making a little wall. So he can't take. He has to go back down to guard to the, get to the queening square. Okay. Now I get a, a king move. Any king move I want, I can go here. Okay. If he goes here, then I go here. Okay. They're back to protecting each other again. And say if he goes here, I make another wall. If he takes, I queen immediately. Okay, he can't go here because these are guys are making a little wall. So, you know. So let's say he doesn't do that. He goes here instead. I just take the king, take the pawn. Okay, and then let's say he goes here, and boom, I queen because he can't get past the wall. So. That's the reason why he resigned. He saw all that. And it's good things to know your endgame studies. So, like, this stuff can happen. And um, thank you for watching my video. I had a great time playing this game. I hope you had a great time watching it. Uh, come on back for some more videos like that. And um, I, got s I am doing chess lessons. And if you want to be part of those chess lessons, there's an advertisement after this video. So, so stick on with the video if you want to watch the video. If you don't, uh, this is the end. And once again, thank you very much. Hello, friendly man here. And I am giving out chess lessons. I have a fiber account if you want to go on to that website. The link will be at the bottom bar below to find out more details. And for one hour, you'll have me to talk to you on Skype. We can talk about anything. Openings, end games, mill games, tactics, strategies, whatever you like. Even just some just having chess game. And if you are a young beginner, I can take you from the start and all the way to a more advanced player. My job as a chess coach is to make sure that you enjoy the game. So if you want to get a chess lesson for an hour, it's $15 American. And I hope uh, we can see each other on Skype. Now, if you want to take a, a little bit more of a risk. Now, with fiber, you, you know, there's ways to get me back if, if I don't do my contract, like putting a a negative review or starting a, de a debate or discussion with the company. But if you want to email me at this address, I'll give you a little bit of a, a discount and we can cut the middleman right out. That's up to you. Be the same chess lesson and uh, thank you for watching.